Alrighty, fellow travelers, welcome back to the adventures of a traveling Don. And today we are doing the final part of the Towns of Acadia and Mount Desert Island tour. We've done all the other ones, Tremont, Southwest Harbor, and of course, Mount Desert. And today we are in the hubbub of Mount Desert Island. This is Bar Harbor. So Bar Harbor was originally founded in 1796, but it was known as uh, Eden at the time, and that was after the last name of Mr. Eden, who was kind of one of the initial people that helped settle this area. Uh, they even got the grant uh, to incorporate this as a town from the one and only Samuel Adams. That's right, the man behind the beer. Uh, but anyway, uh, so uh, Mr. Eden basically founded this in 1796 and it sort of grew into by the 1880s uh, kind of like a, a little haven, uh, basically a piece of Eden um, from uh, for the, for the millionaires, you know, the, that was the rusticator era. That was when uh, you know all the hedge funders and the millionaires and billionaires at the time, the Rockefellers, Carnegies, all them would come up here, and they had mansions. There used to be a place called Mansions Row around here, um, and that was kind of like the the 1880s through to like the 1920s through the Roaring Twenties. Then of course the Depression hit and uh, taxes went up and whatnot on wealthy and all that kind of good stuff, and the final nail in the coffin was the 1947 fire. So the 1947 fire basically wiped everything out and the people that were here year rounds, the regular people, they basically rebuilt, but most of the others, you know, they kind of either scattered throughout the rest of the island or they, you know, they, they moved somewhere else. Um, they had their homes other places. So uh, in place of where the mansions used to be has now popped up a bunch of motels, hotels, things like that. And it's become very much a touristy place um, for almost for, for pretty much everybody. It's not just the rich anymore. It's it's a, it's a touristy place for everybody. And this is the hub up. Uh, now, 1918 was when it was incorporated as Bar Harbor. They changed that uh, to basically because of the uh, the bar sandbar uh, that takes you out to what they call Bar Island. They ended up just calling it Bar Harbor because of that. So. Not a whole lot of imagination with that, but uh, it's it's a great little town. Uh, it gets very busy during the summertime. Even right now, as we're coming to the end of the fall, there's quite a few people around here, particularly in the uh, in the town. So, but uh, anyway, so I hope you guys enjoy this tour, and onwards we go. So behind me here is the Village Green. This is kind of like the very center, the very heart of Bar Harbor. You know, you, on all four streets, uh, all four sides, you have uh, you know restaurants, shops, bars, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, so this is really kind of like the center of where you know this is the meetup spot. This is where you go. Uh, you have a little bit of gazebo. It's a nice little park. It's not as big as Agamont, uh, which is further towards the uh, the, the shoreline. Um, but it is kind of like a really nice central spot to kind of like gather yourself, see where you're at, and then go from there when you're here in Bar Harbor. So when you're in Bar Harbor, just remember there's two main streets that go through uh, Bar Harbor. There is, of course, Main Street is the main street, and then there's also Cottage Street down there. So you have a lot of bars, restaurants, uh, other shops that go down there, uh, and then of course Main Street is the main one that goes around. There, there's of course many, many other streets, but those are like the two streets that kind of uh, intersect 
here and there. And then of course the third one I would say would be West Street that goes along um, the harbor. So those are your three, technically two, but three-ish main streets here in Bar Harbor. I'm not gonna lie, that's a bit of a creepy smile. If you ever need it in books on Acadia, come to Sherman's bookstore and department store. Um, they actually have a section that is all kind of like main and whatnot. Um, but it's actually really cool. They even have, like, if you're interested in it, the histories of the Native Americans here in Eden as well. Which, of course, if you remember, that's what Bar Harbor was called before. But uh, yeah. yeah, if you're ever in need of books around Acadia, the history of the area, um, definitely come to Sherman's. Alright, so of one of the two parks that we have here in Bar Harbor, and the biggest one is right off of the wharf, it is called Agamont Park. I um, believe it's named after the Agamont House. I'm not sure if that's the last name of someone or whatnot, but uh, it is, uh, it's basically the biggest park uh it's got all the like parking areas are around there for the wharfs uh it's right next to the bar harbor inn which is the old historical inn uh for here in bar harbor um it's, it's just kind of like a really nice place to kind of just come and relax it's very spacious it's uh you know there's a lot of areas to basically uh, spread out you have of course the bay in front of you Frenchman's Bay Bar Island to your left and then of course you have uh, the, the other islands as well so it's a great spot to get some good pictures um, and just kind of like you know relax get get a get a takeout lobster roll or something like that and just come here and just sit sit relax and eat so also this is where basically everybody flocks to 4th of July when they have the big uh, fireworks show so but it's really cool you know you get um, every once in a while you'll have you know before COVID they did uh, movies under the under the stars nights here uh, which was really cool just a big projection screen where they played like old movies you usually have uh, live performers playing stuff like that but uh, it's a cool little park so hope you enjoyed that onwards All right, so one of the cool aspects of Bar Harbor and where Bar Harbor actually gets its name is actually this sandbar that um, shows up only during low tide and gives you access to that island, what is called Bar Island. Uh, so it only happens during low tide and it's usually about an hour and a half before low tide and an hour and a half after low tide is when you have the chance to go over and get back. So you have about a three hour window, um, which of course right now as I'm shooting, Low tide is at 3.07, we're at 2.30, so we're about 37 minutes uh, into already being able to walk over, and then you have another hour and a half to go back. Probably won't be over there that long, but we're going to go check out Bar Island as part of this tour because it is, in itself, part of Bar Harbor, uh, and it's kind of a unique part of Bar Harbor as well. So, alrighty, so let's go ahead and cross this uh, sandbar, and then uh, we'll enjoy the tour of Bar Island. So one of the things that I always talk about people when they do the Bar Island walk is first and foremost, walk. Don't bring your car down here. Every year there is somebody, some nonce, some dummy that will bring their car, go across, not keep track of the time, and then start seeing the tide coming in. Try and get their car back, which it's about, about three quarters of a mile to get from there to there. Um, and it's, Every year you see a car get stuck on Bar Island. People have to just basically book it while high tide's coming up on them. And their car basically just dies, gets lost. So yeah, if you ever come to Bar Island, just do the walk and try and get here right when it's, you know, right when it first opens up the path and then come back before it ends. 
because if you do get stuck out here, you can. There is a number to call, or a couple of numbers to call, but it is about, I think, 50, 60 bucks to get you back. Save yourself that $50, you know? Just, uh, or, you know, if you, if you feel like it, just wait that extra nine, 10 hours until the next low tide. But anyway, don't get stuck on Bar Island. And don't bring your car. So what's kind of cool is when you make the trek, whether you go up to the summit first and then come back around, or if you take the right path and you go along the cliff edge, you eventually get to an old kind of settlement uh, in the background. It's just a ruin now, um, but the chimney is still there and a little bits of the uh, stone walls as well. Uh, I believe the history of that one, I can't remember who owned that, but it does go back to the uh, very beginnings and foundations of the island. Um, I think like late 1700s, early 1800s. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's just kind of like a cool little structure. You see uh, even like over here, it, like it goes all the way to like this area as well. Uh, so, but it's, uh, you know, just a nice little, I'm, I'm a sucker for ruins, uh, no matter how old they are. Any kind of like old ruins, castles, or even just like homesteads, stuff like that. I find that really cool. So, but anyway, onwards to the summit. Okay, so I think I was wrong. I don't think the right path circles all the way up to the top. If it does, I couldn't find the path. Um, so that's something, again, like I said, because you have an allotted time limit, um, make sure you're aware of where you're at, how long it took you to get there, and then how long it's gonna take you to get back. So still got plenty, plenty of time uh, to get back to the main trail and then up to the peak, which is only about, about three quarters of a mile from the split off but uh, yeah anyway like I said it's a really tricky island out here it's beautiful great place to kind of like come out for like a couple of hours or whatnot or if you want to spend a whole day and most of a night more than welcome to but uh, it's definitely got to watch your time management so anyway really kind of cool little forest area onwards to the peak I'm kind of confused Is that left for tribute? Hmm. Okay, so as you can see, we are at the peak and it gives you a nice little overview of the look of Bar Harbor. And of course you have Cadillac and Champlain Mountain in the background. But it's a, uh, you know, it's not too much of a hike. It's about a mile from the trailhead. So you think about almost like two miles um, full round trip. But uh, anyway, yeah, it's a nice kind of little thing. But uh, it is now currently 3.15, I'm about eight, in, eight, uh, eight minutes into uh, the height of low tide, so we've got about 82 minutes to get back down, so, and across, so, let's go.
So whenever you're in town, make a try and stop at this place called Bar. It's uh, one of my favorite places. Usually when we do our pub crawls after work, we usually stop here. It's a great place to grab a drink. I'm getting a uh, Bunker Machine Pilsner, which is a nice light beer. But it's always got that little swanky music going on, and it's called, it's an oyster bar. So they do really, really good oysters. Right now, they've got a lot of oyster uh, orders right now. So I'm going to come back eventually and do like a food tour of Bar Harbor and make sure that I get in front of the line for that. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, but right now while I'm doing this, just, uh, you know, it's a great place to come in for a cocktail, great place for beer, decent whiskey selection. It is a must. It is very small though, so kind of got to get in when you can. Right? But uh, anyway, yeah, definitely check out the Barnacle whenever you're in Bar Harbor. Alright, so when you are in Bar Harbor, one of the things that I always recommend people to do, um, particularly if you're at a restaurant and they've got like an hour-ish kind of wait, which does happen during the summertime, let me tell you. Uh, a great place to do, thing to do is just take the, uh, the shore path walk. Uh, the shore path is a well kind of like graveled rock. Um, path that just basically takes you all along the shore path on the outside, east side of Bar Harbor, facing Frenchman's Bay, you have Balance Rock, uh, you can see Bar Island and all the other islands in the back as well. Um, and it's, it's just this beautiful little walk. There's a lot of areas along the walk where you can kind of step down into the shore rocks as well, uh, particularly lower tide walk out a little bit more but it's just it's a really nice I think it's about from the entrance near Bar Harbor Hot, uh, Bar Harbor Inn uh, all the way to the end of it it's about a mile full total so a very easy walk nothing nothing you know strenuous about it or anything uh, there's a picnic area about halfway through uh, where you can take like a sack lunch or something like that and just enjoy the views and enjoy the time but uh, yeah definitely recommend walking the shore path uh, whenever you're in Bar Harbor because it is just a really nice relaxing relaxing little walk so alrighty hope you guys enjoy it So we are at the Terrace Grill uh, at the Bar Harbor Inn. It's honestly, <clears throat> the food's good, the drinks are good, but the best part about it is really the view. Like, the view is absolutely fantastic. Um, you have the tables all behind me. I'm sitting up near the fire pit area. It's just kind of like this beautiful little, it's about like eight to like 10 Adirondack chairs, all small little you know tables next to them. Um, you can get small plates, you can't get full dinners here, but you can get small plates. Um, and of course you have the fire and of course you have this beautiful view of Frenchman's Bay as well. I mean, you cannot get any better than that view as well. Like it is absolutely fantastic. So, but yeah, end of the day, uh, long tour around Bar Harbor. I'm gonna sip my wine. Got a nice little Miraso Pinot Noir. And I even got a shrimp and lobster cocktail, which is uh, good stuff. They actually give you quite a bit. It's like I've got like three of these little like pieces of claw. This, I think it's like 21 bucks for this. This is actually not bad at all. all right, mm. Mm. Fresh lobster. Lobster's good. I give you plenty of um, cocktail sauce. And of course, you got that big old shrimp for you there as well. Looks good, doesn't it? Oh my god, that's good stuff. Right. So, I'm gonna finish this real quick. Alright, so as you can see, it is dark. I was sitting there at the fireplace talking to like just random people from all over the place, which is what I love about spots like this. Um, for literally, I think it's been like two hours now. Uh, but anyway, uh, that is the Bar Harbor Town Tour. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm hoping to do a food tour coming up shortly. But uh, in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of Bar Island, all that kind of good stuff. And I will see you guys on the next adventure. Alrighty, Travel Dons, have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you next time. Peace!